Everybody who knows me knows that my very favorite place to be in life is sitting on the beach in Mexico with a big thing of chips and guac and a giant margarita in my hand. We even had a margarita in our wedding ceremony. We had this big giant margarita glass and we linked arms and drank from the margarita to kind of symbolize the union of our two lives. Here's the deal with the margarita, that big slushy margarita with the sweet and sour mix that I drank all through my 20s is really kind of deadly. It's got tons of sugar that gives you the worst headache in the world, not to mention it's super fattening. So as I got older and kind of more responsible, I realized I was going to need to refine my margarita recipe just a bit. The most important part is the tequila. The thing you want to remember is to get a tequila, kind of more expensive if possible, that is 100% blue agave. That's what you're looking for. The cheap stuff is 51% tequila, and the rest is corn syrup and sugar and fillers and all sorts of bad stuff. For that bit of sweet, you want to add in the agave nectar. Agave nectar is 30% sweeter than sugar, but it has way less calories. I take about four lime wedges, squeeze them right in there, squeeze the juice of the limes, then I also throw the actual wedges in there too. Shake it all up, stir it around together, pour it over some ice, and you're good to go. I used to drink those big, huge, slushy margaritas. Now I'm just a purist. I just want really good tequila over rocks with some fresh lime. Oh, it's heaven.